folks, Dolph A. Dale here, and I'm here to do a contest entry for This Is Music. Great channel, very knowledgeable host, and he's asked for five melodic metal albums, and I think I've got that. Uh, but he also asked for a shout out for another channel. Uh, I thought this time around I would shout out uh, Goo69. That's G U Z 6 9. Uh, that's uh, Gusta from uh, Brazil. Uh, good friend of this channel, and he's got great content. But believe it or not, I actually have more subs than he does. How did that happen? Uh, he has got a great channel. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel as well. So let's get back to these five melodic metal albums. And uh, there have been some good ones that have come out recently. Uh, the first album I'm going to talk about is Iconic. This is uh, Second Skin. And I picked this up. It's power metal, uh, melodic power metal. I picked it up because of uh, Michael Sweet of Striper being in this band. There's a picture of the band right there. And um, yeah, so that band being Tommy Aldridge, Joel Hoekstra, Nathan James, Michael Sweet, and Marco Mendoza. Great lineup. I had reservations about this album because I heard that Michael Sweet wasn't going to be singing lead. And I didn't know anything about Nathan James. But guess what? Nathan James, man, the dude can sing. This is a fantastic album. I'm kicking myself for not having gotten it on vinyl. What was... Man, I missed out. I have to keep my eyes open for a copy. But uh, yeah, this is a killer, killer album. And that's Iconic, Second Skin. Next album shows that the rhythm section for Striper isn't just sitting around twiddling their thumbs either. This is Clean Break. This came out about a week or two after uh, Iconic. Uh, the lineup here is Mike Flintz, uh, Perry Richardson, who is the bass player for Striper, uh, James Durbin on vocals, and Robert Sweet, of course, the drummer for Striper. This thing rocks, too. Durbin's vocals are great. Uh... Again, it'd be kind of that, uh, I guess, power, uh, melodic power metal. Uh, but it's killer. I've only spun it a couple times. It's brand new. But it didn't take but a spin or two to realize this is going to be a smoking album as well. Um, yeah, so between, between uh, Iconic and Clean Break, the guys in Stripers are putting out some killer side projects. For album number three, let's go with Gale Force, Subhuman. I've not heard a lot of talk around the VC on this album, but man, it's killer. Uh, Michael Drive of Baron Cross on lead vocals. I've spun this a lot in the past year or so. It is, it is an outstanding album and deserves more talk in the VC. Album number four is... By the Grace of Rock and Roll by Starman. Who are Starman? I, I didn't know either. Uh, they look like a Cody Rhodes tribute band. They got a little Stardust vibe going with that makeup. But I took a chance on them because um, they were, this is put out on uh, Melodic Passion Records. And uh, that is a label that I believe is owned by Christian Liljegren. I hope I said that name right, who uh, is in Narnia. And, uh, but this is, man, the the melodies are strong. This is melodic hard rock. The lead singer sounds a little like Paul Stanley in places. And I'm sure Kiss wishes they had written a song like By the Grace of Rock and Roll. That would have been a big hit for them. This is This is very underrated stuff. I went out. As soon as I listened to this, I went back and got their other two albums on CD. Um, yeah, don't let that goofy makeup uh, 
fool you. These guys are for real. That's a great CD. For the final album, let's go a lot heavier. Let's go with Detritus. This album is called Myths. And it is, I guess uh, I've heard it described as progressive thrash metal. I'm not sure I hear that much thrash in it. Uh, it's, it's definitely heavy. It's definitely a metal album. And it's very, it is very melodic. These guys are, are using sounds that aren't, you don't typically associate with a metal band, but even from the opening track, um, the myth of uh, redemptive violence, you can tell that they're not just about coming full force at you in your face. There's a lot of, um, a lot of give and take as far as, uh, tempos and um, it's, it has its very tender melodic spots and then it gets really heavy uh, just a tremendous album by a band that um, is really painting with a very wide palette uh, but I love this album and that's Tritus Myths and those are my five melodic metal albums um yeah, I hope you'll try them out. I know they're kind of off the beaten path. And yeah, a lot of these bands are probably not heard of because they are Christian bands. But man, they're putting out some tremendous music and deserve some support. Uh, and you can find samples of this. So I'll try to put some links in the description below and check them out. Uh, anyway, that's my entry. I hope you enjoyed it. Till we do this again. Peace.